Bonjour, today is Sunday, I was gonna say December, it's Sunday, September 19th, and I'm here at Caribou Mountain in Temagami. And <clears throat> yesterday I went on an educational hike. Uh, we were a group of 10 with best-selling author and explorer Adam Schultz. So I am putting together a, a short segment for this film of all the different plants that we learned about, plants and trees and teas that you can make and that kind of thing, things that are edible, things that are edible. Um.
yeah. So I overlanded in my new car last night for the first time, which I had a very comfortable sleep. I'll show that setup another time. Uh, but I'm, the sun has risen, it's just after seven, and I'm going to uh, go up to the uh, fire tower and yesterday we did the Red Fox Trail, so today I'm going to do another trail. I forget what it's called. Yeah, and then we'll head back to Toronto, long drive. Um, <clears throat> but first, we must do the changing of the shoes. So let's do that and then get started. fire tower because he's afraid of heights and I get it I, I got scared as I neared the top and uh, the gentleman who, who owns the country style is named Graham and he uh, used to live in Toronto he moved here 31 years ago to buy this business and run this business um, very friendly both of them so after I do my little hikes here I'm gonna go back there and have some breakfast but yeah absolutely stunning view that's for sure yeah so let's go back down and do some hiking So as I do, I counted the steps on my way down, 155 steps. So let's do the white bear trail. Oh, 
All right, in last week's video, um, William and I mistakenly called these uh, spearmint. It's actually called wintergreen, and I'm gonna collect a bunch to make tea. This is, um, this is not a provincial park, so I am free to, to forage if I like. Uh, so I brought some plastic bags. Yeah, I'm gonna collect a few things to make teas. So that's thing number one. All right, I'm gonna collect some pine needles because they are full of vitamin C. So, so yes, so yesterday Adam told us this story or the story of how Jacques Cartier had come over um, <clears throat> from France to explore Canada with 40 men and they got here and they, they, they hunted caribou and stuff and dried the, me dried the meat for the winter. And, uh, but as the winter wore on, they all got really sick. They got scurvy, their gums turned black, their teeth were falling out. When the native um, people saw them, they said, oh, we recognize your symptoms. Um, we know how to help you. So, so they had all this meat, but they didn't have vitamin C. They weren't eating any, any fruits. Um, so that's what they did. They boiled, um, they actually boiled. So the cedar tree is called the tree of life because that's what they happened to borrow, but actually any coniferous tree, um, yeah, the, uh, the needles are, and like, anyway, are full of vitamin C. So I'm gonna collect both cedar and pine and make those two different teas. Yeah, I wanna go home and like try them all and see what I like, but definitely just for the nutritional value. Yeah, I'm excited to try those two teas. So let's connect, uh, collect some pine needles. All right, we found some cedar. That's the one, it's so fragrant. Um, <clears throat> I feel like you could even like rub it behind your ears and use it as perfume. <laughs> yeah, I'm ex that's the one I'm most excited to try. So let's collect some cedar. So I only brought four plastic bags, which was dumb. Um, <clears throat> so I can only collect one more thing. So I'm keeping my eye out for sweet fern, sarsaparilla, which I'm having a hard time. Like I know sarsaparilla grows underneath other plants, but so far I can't seem to find it. Um, or if we get close to a bog, Labrador tea. I did have um, some Labrador, like I, took some with me yesterday during the hike when I found it and then I dropped it somewhere. So uh, one of those three things is what we're looking for. So I learned about this uh, mushroom yesterday. This is an orange peel, orange peel fungus and I guess it's named that because, well it's obviously not the official name but it looks like an orange peel. All right I found some sarsaparilla. So right here's the top stuff growing and then underneath there it is so it, you can tell it's spotted with the you know light green spots so let's collect that for some tea I found some more so again there's the top growth of another plant and then underneath is the sarsaparilla All right, um, it is uh, nine o'clock or something. So I'm hungry. Let's go have some breakfast with uh, Graham at Country Style Donuts. So just to recap what we uh, foraged, on the far left is the sarsaparilla, then it's cedar, then it's pine, and then it's winter green. Oh, we've got some visitors. Good morning. Good morning. Time for the changing of the shoes. It's 
So I'm just here at uh, Finlayson Provincial Park, which is right here in Temagami. And uh, it's just a regular campground. Um, there aren't even any hiking paths. So um, I guess that's the end of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Please continue to watch, comment, like, and subscribe. Keep my retirement dream alive of doing adventures in nature full time when I retire in 12 years and seven months. Next week, um, I will be doing another guided hike with uh, Adam Schultz uh, in Algonquin somewhere. So I will be either overlanding or camping on some crown land near there, hopefully. Uh, yeah, so stay tuned for that. See you next week. Bye. All right, I'm here at school and I am boiling some cedar sprays for tea. It smells amazing. Let's see how it tastes. All right, I let this steep for 40 minutes while I was in class. Now's the time for the taste test. It smells delicious. Yeah, tastes delicious. Yum.